So, you purchased a hearing aid and now you're thrilled with hearing all that you've been missing, right? Did I hear you shouting, no? Well, you're not alone. In fact, many people who go through this process just end up frustrated. The hearing aid doesn't fit, doesn't work right. It just ends up sitting in a drawer. Is there a better way to get a better hearing? You bet. Let's hear from Dr. Stephanie Rosenblum and Dr. Burt Brown. Dr. Rosenblum is an audiologist and Dr. Brown is an ear, nose, and throat physician and both of them are with Physician Hearing Centers. Welcome, welcome. So this is an important us. topic. Well, before you get to the point of actually having a hearing aid, you first have to recognize that you have some hearing loss. Is that usually easy for most folks? Well, it's kind of funny. You would think it is, but actually hearing loss is somewhat insidious. It comes on and it's a slow process and so sometimes you can have a fair amount of hearing loss and not realize it. Like for instance, um, the birds chirping. Well, slowly but surely you don't hear it, you don't really think about it. Then maybe when you're in restaurants, everyone has some problems there, talking to people, and they just notice they can't quite hear people, and that becomes their norm. So a lot of times people don't realize they have as much hearing loss as they do. Probably the biggest hint is when people keep telling you, mm -hmm. and that's something you need to listen. If people say you're not hearing right, listen to them and say, hey, maybe I'm not, and you gotta think about it. Yeah, time to get it checked out. So what if you have now been evaluated and you've been told you do have a hearing loss? Doesn't a, a hearing aid just solve the problem? Well, it would seem like it'd be that easy. And when I first got out in practice 25 years ago, hearing aids were not very good. They were just amplifiers. They are now digital hearing aids and they're much better. It's a really specialized instrument. And people think you can just plug that instrument in, it adjusts to the hearing test and you hear fine. But there's far more to it. There's uh, all sorts of hearing aids. Um, they need to be fine-tuned to that individual patient. So really the reason people don't like their hearing aids is because they're not adjusted right. Okay, so it's, you're, you're saying that there's these three issues with them. As far as the right one, the right fit, and then making sure it's adjusted correctly. Um, and that it's working in, in real life. So how do you take care of that? Well, it usually starts with the, the appointment with the audiologist. And, you know, there's a lot of different types of hearing aids. There's in the ear, there's behind the ear. So the patient sits down with the audiologist to determine which hearing aid is going to be best for them. And there's a lot of factors that come into play. You know, the audiogram or the hearing test, their visual acuity, their finger dexterity, and then the overall cosmetics. How they do in daily life can be a little bit more challenging though. Um, you know, we can fit a hearing aid and it can sound one way in the office, but then when they walk out into the real world, it can sound very different. Okay, so does that mean that it's just adjusted wrong? How do you prevent that from happening? Yeah. It doesn't necessarily mean that it was adjusted wrong, it's just maybe it wasn't personalized. At Physician Hearing Centers, we take a lot of pride in really evaluating the patient and making sure that we know their daily listening environments, their activities that they're, they're involved in. The, the social situations that many of our patients are involved in can be quite challenging, so we want to make sure we evaluate all those when considering a hearing aid. And so then we take that information along with their hearing test results and really fine tune the hearing aids to their specific hearing needs before they even leave the office that day with their hearing aids. Okay, so Dr. Brown, how do you recreate their hearing universe, what they're going to be hearing when they go out in the real world? Well, one thing that we developed at Physician Hearing Centers, accounting for all these things we've talked about already, is what's called our SER, Sound Experience Room Fitting System. And it's really a special room just to fit in and show what the environment is. We have a high definition TV, surround sound, and actually we can have the person come in with their new hearing aids and actually give them sound clips. If they say I have trouble in restaurants, we can give a restaurant scene. We can even show movie clips of a restaurant scene. If they don't hear the birds chirping, they like classical music. There's all sorts of sound system that they can be in almost that real world setting. So when they leave our place, they've actually been adjusted to the situations they're having the most problems with. It's really a special room we take a lot of pride in. Wow, that sounds great. Yeah. So, as we found out here, a hearing aid is not one size fits all or even one size fits everywhere. To make sure you're getting the right hearing aid and the right adjustment that fits right in with your lifestyle, give our guests a call at 1-888-461-4041 and check out the SER room, it's great. My thanks to Dr. Brown and Dr. Rosenblum for allowing us to hear them out.